friends. Long time no see. <clears throat> Just speaking. You see me every day, don't you? Okay. We talked about uh, decimal place value yesterday. Uh, today we're going to talk about rounding those decimals. So, of course, we're going to take notes because that is what we do here is we take notes. All right. So rounding decimals. All right. So I might do it a different way than what you are used to, uh, but it's the same, um, same idea. Okay. I just put, I think sometimes I put my circle and kicking different places that teachers do, but I have a fun little story to go with it. All right. So when you round decimals, you're going to want to, Usually they say round to the tenths place, round to the hundredths place. And that is where you're going to round to. Um, so you're going to underline the place you are rounding to. Okay. So if it says, or if you are having to round to the tenths place, you're going to underline the tenths place. Well, let's just do an example while we're here. So if it's telling you, I won't do that because that might get a little messy. All right, then you're going to circle the number. to the right of the rounding number. Okay. And we're going to say that this number kicks the rounding number. And you'll figure out what I mean in a second. Okay. The number that kicks and the witnesses go away. Again, you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. and the, not the rounding. <sighs> already messing up, but I haven't even done this much today. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it out. Yeah. The number that kicks and the witnesses Go away. They go to the principal's office. All right. Remember that when you have, I'm going to go up here. And when you have numbers that you're rounding. And then we'll have five up here. Okay. Four. If it's four, it's going to slide back down. And if it's five, it's going to go to tail. So if it's four, it goes back down. If it's five, it goes to tail. All right. So if you have a number, 37 hundredths, and we are rounding to the nearest tenth, you're going to underline the seven, okay, because, or the three, because that's the number that we're rounding to. So you're underlining the three because we're rounding to the nearest tenth. You're going to circle the seven 
and then it's going to kick that three. It's either going to kick it so hard that it kicks it up and it goes to the next number, or it's going to kick it not enough and it falls down. Um, and it would fall back down to the same number. So if it is a number that is five to nine, those are the bigger bullies and they kick it all the way up. And if it is a number that is four and down, they're not as mean and they, they uh, kick it down. So the three is from, I mean, the seven is from five to nine. So it'll kick that three up. So our new number would be four tenths. So it also is like you have 37 cents rounding to the nearest uh, cents. What would you have? You would have 40 cents because if you put a zero here, you could do that and it would be a 40. All right. If you have the number 987 thousandths, because remember, if you need our little trick, you put your one, zero, 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 the seven is over the thousand, the eight is over the hundred, the nine is over the ten. So the nine is in the tenths place, the eight is in the hundredths place, and the seven is in the thousandths place, okay? We are rounding to the nearest hundredth, okay? Rounding to the nearest hundredths. And we'll circle the seven. And that seven is going to kick it up or kick it the same. Well, it's going to kick it up because from five to nine, it kicks up. And that would make that number 99 hundredths. Okay, let's all under here write that zero to four, it stays the same. Um, kicks down. And then five to nine, um, goes up. Okay. All right, so let's try another one. What if we have All right, 407 thousandths. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. And I'm using that zero to make the decision of how it rounds. Well, that zero, he's not very strong. And he just, when he kicks the four, it just kicks them down. So that four is then just going to stay the same. So our new number would be four tenths. But since the seven saw zero do that, they both go away. All right. Because whatever you're rounding to, since I'm rounding to the tenths place, that just stays uh, just the tenth. You don't need the other numbers. So you only keep the number that you've rounded to. Um, anything after that number leaves. All right. But I mean, so like here, we would keep that nine, but the eight is the one that's rounded to, so the seven goes. Once the kicking is done, it goes away. All right, let's practice some together. All right. Well, I guess we'll just do another one right here. Let's see, 49 hundredths, and I'm rounding to the tenths place. All right, is that nine gonna kick it up or kick it the same? Well, that nine is from um, five to nine, so it goes up. So that four is going to now become a 
five, and it would be five tenths. Okay. Make sure I don't anything. Okay. Now, what about the number seven hundred eighty-two thousandths? And we are rounding to the hundreds place. I circle my two. That two is going to kick that eight. Is it going to kick it up or is it going to kick it the same? It's a two, so it's going to kick it the same. So our new number would be 78 hundredths. All right. We've got 679, and we are rounding to the tenths place. So I circle my 7, because whatever you're rounding, the number beside of it is what gets circled. The 7, does it kick that 6 up, or does it kick the same? Kicks it up. So our new number would be 68 hundreds. Oh, nope. What am I doing? All right. I made a mistake. I don't know. I was thinking about the nine and I'm, that's not right. So we would take the seven and the seven is going to kick that six up, but the six would turn into a seven. It would just be seven tenths. I used my old notebook from the years last year just to make sure I get everything to you. And I looked, I looked at my notes from last year and I thought that's not right. So my brain. Okay. Anyway, so that would be a seven tenths. Sorry about the mistake I just did. All right. We'll do a couple more together. You've got, two, now let's do, do, these are going to be have whole numbers, two and 782 thousandths, okay? First name is two and 782 thousandths is the last name. All right, I am rounding to the one spot. So I'm going to circle my seven, and then the seven's going to kick that two up or the same. It's going to kick it up. So then I would just have, I'm going to change my whole number here, and it's going to turn into a three. And you can put the zeros there to, to place, to hold those numbers, since they're all going to the principal's office, because two and eight saw seven kick the two. So they would leave. Okay. Let's have one and... 998 thousandths and we are again going to round to the whole number we circle our nine and that nine is going to kick that one up or the same it's going to kick it up so that nine is going to turn that one into a two and just like a second ago eight, nine, and nine have to leave to go to the principal's office, okay? All right, let's do a couple more together. I'm sort of running out of room, but I don't want to put a new page, so I'm just going to scrunch. 34 and 92 thousandths. Okay, 34 and 92, it's my first name. Last name is Thousands. Um, remember, if you need to, put our trick under there to help us. We are going to round to the tenths place. I'm going to circle my nine. That nine is going to kick that zero up or the same. Go kick it up. So my zero would then turn into a one. So my new number would be 34 and 1 tenths. Okay. We've got 1 and 
one and eight hundred twenty three thousandths one and eight hundred twenty three thousandths and I'm going to round to the hundredths spot my three does the kicking is that three going to kick the two up or the same it's going to kick it the same but he kicked him so he has to go to the principal's office so the three goes away and we're left with one and 82 hundredths because we're rounding to the hundredth spot all right guys you have a, it looks like you have a lot to do today in math but really it's just a few um clicking you just click through a couple pages it looks like a lot but it's not and um after this i think you've got a couple things slides to click through and then the, uh, you have a set of task cards to do for math and then that is it if you have any questions uh email me on canvas Happy rounding.